getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. On the high. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy J Mitch. I'm up here today with y'all to bring y'all uh, my RC unboxing, massive RC unboxing for September slash October, today, September 30th. Um, but, um, you know, this will probably come out October 1st. Who knows? Um, but anyway, talking too much, I'm going to say if you haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Um, thank you so much in advance. And as always, I'll leave the details of all the products that I'm going to unbox today. Um, uh, I'll leave all those details in the video description for your um, review. Anyway, let's get to the shits. I realized I have, I still have so much more stuff coming to my house and I've been just holding on to stuff not to show you guys that this will be a good opportunity to do some unboxing of things. So with that being said, let's get to it in no particular order. Some things have already been unboxed, but um, we'll see. So this one comes from RC Juice. This package comes to us from RC Juice. Open this bad boy up, show y'all what I got. Inside, I have the uh, 150 amp ESC with the uh, thermal uh, connect on it. They have like a, a thermal sensor. I bought one of these before. I put it in my fire team um, and I just wanted to have one on deck. So this is the 6S version and this is the 3S version. Um, so yeah, got the 3S and the 4S. I mean the 3S and the 6S ESCs. I guess I'll unbox them unless you guys get a look at them. Basically they're rebranded hobby wings but you can see here they have a temperature sensor on the back and the temperature sensor connects to a corresponding um, motor uh, for both of these. So this is the 6S, it's about the size of a Max 8. And this is the 3S, about the size of a um, XR10, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know if they even make a Max 10 anymore, but same thing. I like how they have these nice power buttons and this one actually has an XT60 connector on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, with a, uh, a T style connector adapter, if that's the way you want to go, this is probably going to get taken off. I'll probably put an XT90 on here. This one also has the same XT60s. This is going to go to XT90 as well. But yeah, these both are really cool ESCs that I had interest in running. I don't know anybody who's really running these, um, but I got a couple test scenarios I want to run these bad boys through. So that's these things here. Next item comes from A-Main. Quite a few packages from A-Main. Got my, my handy un unboxing knife. We all try not to stab myself with it. little doll it's all good though now I like this I use reuse my boxes a lot so so inside this box we have some low C pro moto parts I was able to score a low C pro moto rear black wheel I ordered the front wheel too this is the off-road knobbies ones um, so yeah I had this is the low C rear already glued pretty much nice and black really cool I also ordered the Trill hub, uh, the Trill spindles, because uh, I don't want to have to keep on replacing spindles on the car. So along with these um, Trill hubs, I also have a set of the Proline Supermoto um, on-road wheels. You guys know I'm speed running. I'm doing some craziness right now. Um, so yeah, got these as well to go with the go with the uh, truck. I'm going to do better at referring to the moto as a moto versus a car but like i said i'm always running a car or a truck so those are always like my e easy references they're just building to my vocabulary guys so you guys don't have to bear with me while i get through that um what's next i have some more pro moto updates got a new jersey on the update side of the game because the jersey on the mo on the on the pro moto is dog um also i have another chain um, I had the, cha the chain tensioner adjuster set 
and I have a rear sprocket. Anything else in here? No, just the receipt. So those are all my ProMoto upgrades. I might have even more. So let's see. Yeah, there's some more ProMoto. <laughs> some more ProMoto goodies. Uh, somebody sent me a link to some more things and I think it's in this bag exactly, yeah. So what I have is the Hot Racing uh, Speed Run Sprocket set for the ProMoto MX. So it's a 36.2 um, sprocket for the rear and I don't know the size tooth on this pinion or, or, or on the, uh, the, the drive sprocket. I don't know that size. Uh, maybe it's uh, 14, 14, 15. So it's gonna, sorry, it's gonna allow, the, it's pr pretty much gearing the car, the, it's gearing the motorcycle closer to one to one. So that will, um, that final drive ratio, um, getting it closer to that portion so we can get some more speed out of it. So I'll be putting these on the car shortly. And also what we also got was the hard and steel light gear set um, for the inside of the car, you know, the, um, slipper clutch and all that all inside the car is plastic and i picked these up metal ones i don't need them my my plastic gears are still in good shape but i saw these so i picked those up as well so those are my pro moto upgrades now i might have even more pro moto upgrades so y'all gonna have to bear with me again I think i don't know what this is i don't think this is a pro moto uh part there but it is from innovative rc products thank you innovative rc products and i also gotta say Everything I spent my own money on. I wish I was sponsored. Only money I saved was um, uh, um, discount codes, if any were available. RC, shout out to RC Juice. They had, it seems like every other weekend or every weekend they had that extra 15% off code. So some of that stuff was already on sale and you could throw that 15% off code on rcjuice.com and save money on the, the Hobby Star products or anything on their website. I like I like RC Juice, really nice stuff there. But yeah, I thought this was for the Promoto, but it's not, it's a Spectrum Servo for Arma Creighton 8S that I'm not going to use. So if anyone's looking for one, let me know. Gonna let that go. Going to move that on. Uh, this is just another empty package. All right, so this next package is something for the Raminator. Um, so for the Raminator, okay. Well, first of all, first of all, they send you. They gotta. They gotta give you some flyers on what's coming up. This fifth scale challenger is pretty cool looking car. Not something I'm really interested in, but you know how I do. If I get bored enough when this comes out, maybe I'll pick it up. They make it in gas and electric, and I believe you can also get it in a roller. Uh, if I'll be honest with you, I'm not really a challenger guy. I mean, I think they're dope cars, but um, you know, I'm not really a challenger Hellcat guy. So, but you know, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm sure there'll probably be some other bodies that'll come out for it at some point. But yeah, that's a dope release that's coming from them. So that's cool. Um, also got Fearless RC is a coupon code for five off. So check out that five off code, uh, type it in and 5% off your order. Cool, I ain't mad at them. It will, uh, no order would be, wouldn't be complete without a sticker. So shout out to Primal RC for the sticker. And then what I have here is, yeah, this is the product. It is a, a suspension uh, limiter. Um, so these go around your suspension and you can t uh, add tension to them to make the tent, make the, the, the suspension not, you know, just release all this tension out. So it's pretty cool. So suspension limiter, y'all know what that does. Uh, that's for the Raminator. And I have a couple more parts coming from the ramp for the Raminator. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, I still have more stuff to unbox than this even in this video today um, But this is what's here and I just said let me let me get some of this stuff unboxed and share with you guys All right, this next thing is From a main shout out to them. I think there was a sale on this too. I got this a couple of weeks ago I want to say what was that like maybe Labor Day Labor Day weekend they had a dope sale 15% off of all hobby wing products uh so what we got in here is first of all there's a special gift for me a hundred dollars in wine vouchers Ooh, yeah that's what i'm doing but um i really wanted to try out the new 5690 es i mean 5690 motor 
I was planning on maybe putting this in the Outcast and see how it measures up with that 1100 in the Outcast, but I'm really happy with that performance in the 11, you know, with the 1100 in the Outcast. So I'll have to find something else to put this in, but you guys know how I do. If I don't use it, you know, it'll be up for sale. Uh, okay, I got another Max 4. Y'all know what that's about. You know, that Max 5 is a beast. And also I have a, another motor, a 56-118 censored um, 1100 KV motor. So yeah, that's the, on the hobby wing side of the game, hobby wing unboxing part of it. Um, trying to think, do I want to show y'all this? I'm gonna show y'all this thing. I, all right. Actually, let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Need I say anything about this, guys? This thing, when I saw the preview for it, I said, yo, I gotta have it. I don't fly, but I was born in the 80s. I don't know about y'all, it was a couple things that caught my eyes in the 80s as a, as a young kid. It was the Lamborghini Countach. It was the Ferrari F40, the Porsche 959, and the SR71 Blackbird. Like how, if you're from the 80s, this is what it's about. This and also, you can't not BMX bikes too. BMX, man, BMX, let me, let me get a, a Mongoose or a GT or whatever. But this, when I saw this, it took me right back to my childhood, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna fly it. I might not ever open the box. Okay, I'm going to open the box. Y'all here, I'm going to open the box, let y'all get a look at it. Like like an old perverted old man, we can look at it real quick. But this is as far as I'm taking it. This is it. This thing is so freaking cool, guys. I can't even, I, I kid you not, this is, wow. SR71 Blackbird. This is the bind and fly version. I do have a an airplane remote. Um, so all I gotta do is throw a battery in here, you know, and bind it right to my radio. It won't be a problem to fly it. This thing is 4S capable. Look at the look at the intakes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. I don't know guys. I, I have a couple planes. I only really flew one of my planes. Um this one is special to me, so I don't know. I, I, I just was, I was in the shop, Adam got it in, said, I know you just talked about it, now you gotta buy it. I'm like, shit, I guess I do. So that's what happened, we picked this up. Um, so shout out to Adam and RC Discount, the official, the official sponsor of J. Mitch RC. The unofficial official sponsor of J. Mitch RC, and as always, I'll leave his information in the video description for y'all to check out. All right, so I could maybe I'll stop here because there are there is even more stuff, but I think we're running about 12 15 minutes on the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So I'm gonna say thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to my homie Dave Hubbard, rest in peace. Shout out to Big Willie, shout out to Ted, shout out to Adam from RC Discount, shout out to Mark and Hector from RC Discount. Shout out to everybody that watches and subscribes to my channel. Also, I do have a Facebook group page. You can also hit me by email, j.mitch.rc at gmail.com if you have any questions or you want to, you know, commission a build or anything like that. Hit me up, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day. Y'all be good now. Peace. GoPro, stop recording.